Bev Lyons here with The Wanted. My Yo, God, hello. it's a homecoming for you guys. It is a little bit. We've been stateside so much recently, we've not seen you. So finally we were in Britain for at least, well, hopefully longer a week. than a month. <laughs> Who knows? It's been going well. Very well. Right. Yeah. We, yeah. We, we're a surprise to everybody else that we've been very lucky. Glad you came and blew up in America. Uh, and now just keep your eyes peeled because there's more to come. So tell me some of the insider info of what's been happening, Steve. Um, well, uh, we've been very busy. We have. Travelling around lots in a um, small bus. Yeah. Um, and just greeting lots of radio stations, seeing loads of fans, uh, doing gigs everywhere, radio shows, and being nice to everybody and hope that they play the song and remember the fact that we're nice and like to play other songs. Who's come up to you when you've been in the States and you just thought, oh yeah, we've totally nailed it now? Okay, well, okay, uh, here's, a, here's the weirdest thing ever. At the Billboard Awards, we went literally like the new boys, eyes open, couldn't believe who we were like sharing a stage with. There was uh, Chris Brown, uh, Stevie Wonder, Alicia Keys, and so many people approached us and said, you did a good set, I like your song. And amazingly, where are you going tonight? And so we parted with just like crazy people. Who did you party with? Uh, Le Mafal. <laughs> Le Mafal. LMFAO. And they're like notorious party boys. Yeah. So they, were they in the same, what was the club called? I have no idea. Uh, but they asked us where we were going. Chris Brown did. Uh, Jordan Sparks came up to us. She came up to us and said, I've been waiting to meet you. Jordan Sparks, you're well better than us. Meet you. We've been waiting to meet you. She did a great uh, Whitney tribute as well. So, yeah. I mean, that was the craziest night ever. And I Nathan is a lifelong I, fan. Yeah, well, I, I was just, yeah, I got to meet Stevie Wonder, cried my eyes out. Um, did you? As you do. Because, like, you, didn't you, weep, you never like, expect that you meet someone like that. So, what, you met him and you were just like, oh, God. No, no, no. just break down. No. No. I say, Nathan met him. And literally, his eyes went huge. It was just really polite and quiet. Oh, I can imagine then, you were like, have you we, 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 <laughs> we went back to the dressing room, and Nathan sat there and just went, just met Stevie Wonder. And he didn't like sob, but he just, just teared up. And I was like, oh, Nate, it meant so much to him. Yeah. It meant a lot to us, but you're a huge fan. That's so nice. Yeah, I That's remember it. it now, I'm getting all happy. So you're going to be doing any work with these guys? Well, hopefully, I mean, a Scooter Braun is now our manager, and he, he's Justin Bieber's manager, and uh, he's just done so much for us, and he bends over backwards for us, because we're, like you know, we're quite messy characters, and he tries Just to. A bit. <laughs> he tries to make it still messy and stuff, but presentable to America, uh, and he's done really well. So hopefully he'll hook us up, and uh, we're probably going to do some of Justin Bieber's dates, and Chris Brown is interested if we want to do some of his too. So. So you've mingled with Justin. Before, we've done some. We've done some mingling. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we did. We Has he written for you? Have you written for him? Well, no, but we've started writing in the past few months and I mean there's some stuff there that I think is definitely just in worthy so who knows. Okay so, so something might happen. Has he bought you any presents or anything like that? Scooter Brown? You know he uh, likes to take care of his artists. Well, he, yeah he's bought us quite a few shots. He, he uh, bought uh, a great present. For what? Birthday party. Oh yeah who's this? Oh Nathan had the best present from Scooter ever. Go on Nathan. Uh, birthday at Playboy Mansion. Oh yeah, I think I saw the pictures of that, yeah. but I didn't realise that was your birthday badge. No, it's superb. And uh, yeah, it's been my birthday, because the plan was to go back to Scooters for a few drinks, because he's got like... Oh, so you thought? Yeah, he's got like a, like a pool in his garden and all that, and like as Americans do. Um, he's like, yeah, we can like have drinks around the bar. He's hidden, mate. He's got that. a mansion. He's on an LA pad that looks yeah, over yeah, the hills. It's crazy. Yeah, it's That's nice. amazing. But then we thought we were going back there, but we were like, yeah, it's going to be wicked. And then I was like, all right, on the way there, I'm going to get minutes kick and I woke up at the Playboy Mansion. Fantastic. Listen, I want to ask you very briefly about Tea in the Park. Yes. Tea in the Park, massive gig for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've played Tea before. Yeah, we, I mean, we've, we've done a lot of Scottish gigs before, but to be on a lineup with loads of like rock acts and indie acts and other people, it's you, you really want to bring it because you, you know you're not just going to get away with all our fans love us. You've got to like, we've got to perform hard, we've got to sing well, our band are really excited to be here. You scared of missiles? Nah. You kidding? can handle that. What about the mud? Chuck them back. You know, <laughs> I didn't prepare. You're really prepared. Oh, I know. Yeah. But I didn't prepare at all. But rock and roll. And, have you and roll. are you going to meet Nicki Minaj tonight, or does she want to meet you? I doubt it. Why? <laughs> That's 